Hello, hello, and welcome back to Foundation, our medieval city building game. Right, so we've got a little forestry area going on here. We've got some fisheries going on here. The rain's battering us, but it seems like our shirts or clothes are back in order. So let's jump to speed three. Clearly clicking three doesn't work because that's in a different game. This kind of satellite town outpost area thingy is what we are developing right now. Uh, we have got an iron quarry here. We've got a warehouse that is going to stockpile for us iron, which is here. I think this is coal or oh, this is iron. This is coal. This is wood and this is tools. All good things for us to stockpile. I guess coal is working overtime. That's good. Uh, we are planting sycamores here. In the forestry area. Have we started planting it though? No, because we haven't assigned any farmers for it. Uh, we are trying to get all of this wood out though. So once that is done, I think we can get ourselves a little forestry area, replanting area going on here. That's fine. This is a house, a stone house nonetheless, right next to the marketplace. Hmm, that's good. Monks approaching us, that's good. What else do we have going on? What about our soldiers? They're all ready. So let's go and see if we can give them a couple of missions just to earn. Actually, we have plenty of money. I think we. it might be good for us to unlock another area. There's a bunch of trees here, so we could get this area and uncover all those trees, like chop them down and such. We could do that here too. Uh, there's some berries here, which maybe, maybe we could get berries. I mean, we could get these berries. So if we get this plot as well, we will get those berries as well. But doesn't seem like we need, it doesn't seem like the priority is going to be on the land like what other resources do we need we do need trees that's for sure but do we need that many trees we've got plenty of trees here as is so we are going to go for trees i think this is the best plot for us to unlock so let's do that just for the trees uh let's disable this in the meantime let's go and get ourselves a little gathering hut over here So that should be fine. Uh, this gathering hut will again bring everything to a warehouse which is close to here, which is where I am not sure. I think the closest granary is over here. Maybe we could get ourselves a little granary somewhere here. There's actually a berry bush here, which we could try to get as well. And a berry bush here. So. Technically speaking, having a granary here would be the best. Although I don't know if a granary spews out bad juju, you know, that is to say if it does have a, um, what's that called? If it has a horrible effect radius, not sure of that, but I want this to be more central. So we could get a granary over here. Let's just get a granary here. Over here. It's going to be the same distance that they travel. So I don't think it's kind of like a priority right now. Oh, what happened to this house? Wasn't the house completely built? Like, did they take it down? Probably. Uh, so yes, now that we unlocked that, we could get another mission. So let's get a mission. Let's go to the accepted missions list. And let's deploy a couple of people here to do this. Three of you. That's good. Let's get another easy. This is easy. Uh, accepted missions. Three, let's actually say five over here. 
let's send five of them over there i don't want too many missions because i don't want like too much money to come in i don't have that much space for my money we could technically build another extension to our great hall townhouse lords manor whatever you want to call it it isn't going to be that expensive sorry for the frog in my throat but yeah it isn't going to be that expensive so we could do that there's berries there there's berries here there's a small little group of berries here as well sure why not why the hell not let's get another gra gathering hut over here start off on you let's employ a bunch of people here i think we have enough people to employ don't we okay that's two missions this is people not joining us fine yeah we've got a bunch of unemployed so we can put them all there that's not an issue uh are we producing here or not and we have all the stuff gets converted to iron okay coal hut we need a blacksmith is that what we are missing i mean we are missing something we are missing a blacksmith i guess pretty sure that's what it is so we could get ourselves a blacksmith not over here actually uh delete let me get you a little bit more inset over here yeah this is different from the iron smelter this is a smelter right yeah so we need the blacksmith before we can turn off the tools thing does this need tools it does need tools so are we still trading tools we are still buying tools we are buying 10 tools so it's going to take a little bit of time oh did they change this again quite possibly did and i appreciate that it's much better four people and four people have decided to join us that's good come on guys come on in join us join us on this epic adventure so we've just won something sure uh official garden masterpiece to honor the occasion bonus effect soldier recovery speed is increased by 2 build condition none that's amazing uh the keep is right here spot on in the middle actually it's in a place where i can't expand it further but okay not right now not right now later on so my brother who follows the channel and watches these videos uh he was a little bit annoyed that i allocated this island for farms instead of building houses here it's unfortunate that he got annoyed at that but right now we are still go growing and it makes no sense to put all of your houses in here right because we need people to go to their work and come back so we need them to be close to their place of work which is why we have this separation here all of these industries and all of these houses here yay we are relieved that's good look at the green look at look at how pretty oh my god seriously this game during the summers is just exquisite it's just so beautiful look at this look at this panning that we are doing this is awesome anyway so we have this separation here houses here and workplaces here so it's easy for people to come in and go out the same way we've got a bunch of industries which are coming up here and we've got houses here so it's easy for people to go and come back in if you put all of your houses in this island and then you build all of the other facilities around people are going to waste time walking that's going to eat into their working time so that is something which i am not going to do which you should not do because organic growth in cities never happens that way 
we look at cities as they are today with proper transit facilities which can ship people from one place to another and we assume that that's how we want things to be that's how things have always been that is definitely not the case especially in medieval times people actually lived where they worked so here for example you would have the blacksmith living or this is the iron smelter so you would have the dude living in the house and then a part of the house will be the workshop soldiers were defeated oh no your soldiers are back from the mission they were defeated oh no so that is why we are doing it this way we are doing it in a much more uh no bring them back we already faced one defeat we are doing it in a much more uh natural way we are doing it in a much more interesting way this is the interesting way of playing the game at least for me cuz this game look look at how this game is like you just zone the area and then they build the houses so clearly this game is not a game where you lay down the grids and then you beautify this no you want to do that you play anno play anno 1600 in fact you can even play banished or you can play austrip all of those games help you to do that but not this game this game is about watching a city or a town grow and marveling at its beauty that's all it's as simple as it gets as beautiful as it gets to we got a bunch of tools that's good uh we got six tools well six is not a lot but i mean it's good harry is assigned to the construction and sally is bringing tools <laughs> i'm just kidding florence florence is bringing four tools Let's see if we can unlock some of these. We can't, can we? No, we can't. Uh, we were interested in getting the hunter's hut as soon as possible, for which we need to do a little more stuff for the kingdom, and we need to do some more for the clergy as well, so that we would get the church. Ah, uh, citizens. Should we try to get citizens then? Let's do that. Carl the baker can become a citizen for two hundred gold. Sure, go for it, Carl. a uh, bunch of serfs sure and that's enough for today we have a gold smelter available a glass smelter available and jewelry workshop available what does a jewelry workshop need i wonder if it needs gold we don't uh, there's a monk that's our opportunity uh not the king it probably do the clergy right cuz we need the church so let's do the clergy and it's 50 wood which we already have so we can dispatch it and we did get 10 of that so we got 40 here but that is useless or does that become useful at some point i don't know i have no idea let's look at the capacity of our church our church capacity is 50 on 50 so that is pretty full this church is um 25 of 30 so that's i would consider that to be full as well which means i want to get myself a small church over here let's see where our boundaries are so we could get a church over here actually we could get a church over here this would be a nice spot for a church so let's get ourselves a rustic church over here main building this is going to be a small church the point of this is for us to get our piety up to 3 that's going to be the main focus So this is going to be a pretty small church. It's not going to be a large church by See that's 3. So that in itself gives us 3. But I am going to do the tower as well. That seems to be a good enough tower. And let's get a cross over here. 
should we beautify this church? We can. We can get one of these. Like so. And we can have this on either side one here one here and a little fountain right outside right so that's all good let's start that construction uh, this church is just a church like I don't care this church is not there to do anything substantial. This church is just to unlock the other church for us so that we can build ourselves a bigger church over here. I'll probably build the church over here or maybe here. Here would be good. Uh, let's see how our housing is. Our housing is over here. So if I build a church over here or uh, let's say like so, it block the adverse effects of this and this which is good let's get that particular tree that one tree and then all of this off so all this is fine all this is good and let's wait for things to grow there's a bunch of more houses coming up here which means a church here would actually have actually a church here would have a good effect uh, maybe I need to get more people working on stuff we have a lot of coal we have enough iron and we have 10 over here let's get two more people here but those 10 tools came from outside we import them once this is done which it's going to as as soon as Yolanda gets here So once this is done, I'm going to employ some people here and then stop importing tools because we can manufacture tools on our own then. There it is completed. Let's get two people to start working on the tools that will use up the coal and iron which we have here. Which is both good. That's what we want. We want to use up all of our resources. That's me adjusting the temperature in the room. It's becoming a little cold. The winter rains in Thailand are always awesome. They reduce the temperature and um, if you're lucky enough, they flood the roads. So there's more opportunity for you to work from home, which by the way, right now work from home is something which everybody's doing. All of us are doing it, but it's not, it's not become like mandatory. It's not like there's a shutdown. People are still walking around and people are still mingling into mixing, but still the number of cases is very less, which is a testament to how good the healthcare system in Thailand is, which I don't think a lot of people know it, except if you search for it, like if you try to understand uh, the cost and you know, if you're looking for a cheaper destination where you can get some of these more expensive treatments done, uh, essentially it's cheaper for people in the West to fly into Thailand and uh, get their necessary medical treatments and medicines get fixed and then go back home of course i'm not talking about those countries in the west which have free healthcare because there's i mean i guess 
most of them are like that but then there are you know you do have those few countries which in an effort to uphold capitalism have screwed up their healthcare system and a lot of those people do come to thailand so the healthcare system in thailand is amazing you you have a very good ratio of doctors and nurses to people and that has in turn led to more safety practices and generally in southeast asia people are people have embraced the culture of masks much better and because of that it's just much better in control i guess but yes it's it's pretty nice you can walk out you can have a beer you can chill out with your friends and all of that although i'm not a fan of any of that i would much rather prefer my eyelid less populous here at chelier to spend my time with look at them look at those little people without eyelids walking around and just standing there for me to give them a job on that note i want to put a quick cut in this video uh, do like and subscribe if you like the content i'm putting outside do comment if you think anything is comment worthy our unhappiness seems to be increasing because of the churches mainly uh, we are going to get on that as soon as we come back thank you for watching take care now bye bye then